Hey, today we're going to learn how to get the mouse position in Pico 8. This is one of those kind of undocumented things, but it's super easy. And look, we can have a sprite follow the Y position of your mouse or the X position or both. So I have some code here set up for this little shooter game that we'll actually be diving into a little more next video. But here's the key to getting a mouse position. There isn't like a function, you know, like get mouse or something like that. That would be awesome. I actually found out how to do this on the Pico 8 forums. There's an article about how to retrieve mouse coordinates with demo by GAMAX92, and it's very nice. It just lets you do a cursor. And then they go on to explain how the heck this works. The big deal is we have to put this statement in our init, and I'm still learning like a lot of you guys, but what this does is write to memory, and there's probably a really fancy technical reason like exactly why this works, but it basically lets you do the next part. So we put this in our init, and then we can grab the parameter stat32 for the x coordinate of the mouse and stat33 for the y coordinate. So this is how it works. In the init function, I have this poke statement right here. And then every frame, I'm updating our gposy, which is short for gun position y, to be stat33, which is whatever the y position is for the mouse. And then I just draw my sprite at g position y. And what we have is the sprite following me on the y axis. We can also make this happen on both axes by either setting a new variable or, you know, we could just say stat32. Save, run, and now it follows me like a cursor. Pretty cool. So pretty simple, but that's how you do it. You put this little poke statement into the init, and that lets you use stat32 and 33 to get your Y position. I'll reset this before I forget. Then you can have games like this that follow the mouse. And in my next video, we'll learn how to shoot. Pretty cool. Hey, if you want to download this project file, there's a link in the description. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this, maybe hit, maybe give it a like. You know what I'm saying? All right, have a good day.